Hey folks, On Target Training, up here today, talking about this beautiful revolver. This is the Smith & Wesson 617. It's a 10-shot, 22 revolver, and it's a K-frame revolver. So it's a big, solid revolver. One of the things that I really like about the Smith & Wesson products is that they're just so well made. Lock up very, very tight, great trigger, both in double and single action. We're going to shoot it today and give you guys a chance to see how it does. I'm going to be shooting some different types of ammunition. The first type that I'm going to shoot is the CCI standard velocity ammunition, which generally in most of my 22 seems to be pretty accurate and work pretty well. This gun's had about 150 rounds through it. It's relatively new. And I think you'll enjoy watching this, or maybe not enjoy watching it. I'm going to enjoy shooting this uh, gun quite a bit. One of the advantages, of course, of the 617 is if you shoot a 686, it's the same gun, just a different caliber, right? So if I'm practicing working my double action revolver skills with my 686 and I want to work with less expensive ammunition, then I've got a 22 to do that. So we're going to shoot this, give you guys a chance to see it. We're going to start about five yards. We'll work our way back, but five yards just so I can get a feel of the trigger a little bit, and then we'll work our way back, and then we'll shoot some steel. Typical review uh, here with on-target training. Let's get to it right now. Okay, guys, out there, five yards away, we've got some, these two-inch targets. These targets are provided uh, to us by our friends, easy-to-see targets, and um, I like them quite a bit because they're easy to see. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to fire five shots, double action. I lied, it was actually 10 shots. So again, double action. This triggers brand new it's not as nice as the uh, polished trigger that I have on my 686 so obviously it's not as smooth but you can see again you know no no problem whatsoever and if, I, if I took my time I'm sure that I could do a little bit better what I'm going to do now is shoot the same uh, section here so we're going to put 10 rounds in single action and we're going to work from the same distance five yards we've got that two inch circle out there and we'll we'll go ahead and work that I'm going to go real deliberately and see if we can do any better And you can see we've got a good group going out there. I mean, very slow and deliberate on the trigger. Working that single action. The gun has black on black sights and that's okay for these kind of targets. Frankly, with my eyes at this age, I prefer a fiber optic front sight. So I am gonna change the front sight out. The Rear sight is fine, it's just black, but I'll put some type of fiber optic sight, either red or green, and use that. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna step back. I'm gonna go back to 10 yards. I'll do the same thing, uh, probably shoot five and five. So we'll do five in double action, five in single action, uh, and give you guys a chance to see that. Okay, so here we are at 10 yards, I'm gonna work one of those targets in double action will fire five and then the other target in single action.
okay? Uh, you know, not nothing spectacular. I'm not great on this trigger yet, but you can see, I mean, they're right, they're right in there, no problem. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna work five in the single action mode. That one was a little low and right. There we go. And you can see, I don't quite know the trigger yet. But again, 10 yards away, you know, not bad. Not bad for a gun that I don't know, know yet uh, and not very proficient with. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna work some steel at distance. Uh, it's really fun with this gun shooting because there's no felt recoil. And again, it's that big, heavy K-frame revolver. You're coming out, you're pressing your shots. You do not want to do much dry firing on this uh, 22 platform. That is one thing that's very important to recognize. If you're going to dry fire, you want to use dummy round snap cap, something in there to absorb that impact of the firing pin. All right, let's go shoot steel. We're now going to switch out ammo. We're going to shoot some Anguilla. This is the Super Extra. It's a high velocity round. Uh, so should be fine, right? Nice thing about revolvers, they tend to cycle everything. And uh, I've had good luck with Anguilla ammunition in the past. So we're going to work same thing, slow double action press. When I do my part, nothing more than, <laughs> nothing ever changes, right? When I do my part and I focus on the sight and good smooth press, I get the hits. When I jam the trigger or don't do what I need to do from the sight standpoint, I miss. But you can see, no problem whatsoever, easy, easy, easy all day long uh, doing that. I'm not working the gun super fast. I am not running the trigger as fast as I possibly can, although we can certainly do that here in a minute. What I wanted to do though is just I'm working the fundamentals. So whenever I get to the range and I'm shooting, I'm trying to work on core skill development. We're going to work this steel gong out there. So nine out of 10, not bad. Again, could I do better? Sure, I can go a little slower, uh, work the fundamentals. But you can see, no problem getting it. I mean, this is just a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful revolver. I just absolutely am enjoying it. Well guys, I really appreciate you watching. That's a shooting review of the very nice Smith & Wesson 617, the K-frame 22 revolver, 10 shots, great trigger, really, really nice trigger. Nice double action trigger, a nice single action trigger. We are gonna have some work done on it. We're gonna swap out the front sight here, have my friends over at BG Gunworks uh, do some work for us on this and polish up the trigger, maybe just a bit in that double action mode. Well guys, that's a quick look at a very nice revolver. I really appreciate all of you watching. Also a shout out to our friends at Easy 2 c Targets. Uh, really like their stuff and they're great. They send us targets. We get to use them in classes. We get to uh, give them away for, to people. Um, and they're really, they're really nice, solid guys and I really appreciate them. Finally, and as always, stay safe.